Hi guys. So I was asked to do um, a little tutorial on how I do my underglaze transfers. I am not like a professional underglaze transfer person, but I do use them quite a bit. And so this is how I came up with doing it. Um, I don't buy rice paper because I found that regular tissue paper, you know, the type that you would use for your gifts also works really well for me. Um, and I use underglazes. I, I know some people add like um, Caro syrup to them and mason stains. I honestly, I've had pretty good success without doing it. I just use regular underglazes. I prefer Amoco um, Velvet series underglazes. Um, they tend to be the right consistency. When I put my underglazes on the tissue paper, it's almost like a toothpaste consistency. It's pretty thick. And then, so I have two little pieces here that I made for you. And I just wrote the word hello on them in different colors so you can see how the colors transfer. And then this little piece I'm gonna do, um, maybe I'll do it in black. Um, I just wanna show you, it's, it's regular underglaze, you know, and I just, um, when I put it on the paper, just make sure that there is a good amount that is transferred to the paper. And then you have to dry it, that's really important. So let it dry all the way. Okay, and then I have two pieces of clay. So the way I prefer to do it is I like clay that's really, really wet. So like as soon as I make the mug, now you don't want it like um, so wet that like things would um, like smudge. But you, you really, you want it like, um, you want it to feel wet to your touch. Okay, so nothing dripping, but, but still kind of wet. And then this piece here is um, quite bone dry. There's a way to do it with this too. So. We'll start out, I'm gonna let this fella try a minute. So let's start with the word hello here. So all I do is I write it on my little tissue paper and then I put it face down on my wet clay and I start rubbing it like this. I'll show you on the camera in just a second. See, I'm just kind of like rubbing it in until it starts looking like, um, I don't know, how would you describe it? Like the, the, the tissue paper is getting wet, right? And then I'm going to press down a little bit. And in theory, when I peel back, most of the word should now be on the clay. Let's see if that happens. Pretty good. See, there it is on the clay. Sorry the colors are light, I just want to show you that you can transfer any color, the light ones do. Okay, now if you want to try to do it with a bone dry clay, I've done it too, and I've done it with bisque too, but it's even harder. So what you have to do with these guys, you're going to have to add water, but it's really important that you don't add too much, because if you add too much, the whole thing is just gonna like flow and, and smudge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my finger and it's just wet. I, I, I don't have any drops hanging off of it. It's just a little bit wet. And I am going to dab my word high, but really, really carefully. And it's actually, it's the paper is lifting. You want the paper to stick to the clay. Okay, this is not easy. This is a much harder way to do it. I, I really recommend doing it on the wet clay. But in theory, I actually did this with my school students once and it did work. Believe it or not. But see, see how much like more work this is? And... Um, when I peel it back, it should have transferred. Yeah, that's okay. So this is on the on the bone hard clay. So as you can see, um, the whole process is super simple. You just take your tissue paper, you write a draw with it um, with the underglaze on it, and then you stick it to the clay and you rub it in. You use water if it's bone hard. You don't use water if the clay is nice, soft, and moist. Um, I strongly recommend going with the soft and moist. 
it's a lot less work and it's a lot less like trying to figure out oh you know did i add enough water did i add too much water now um if you want to make repetitive images right um and you don't have a fancy printer where you can like print these things out what people do is silk, silk screening okay so they actually set up a little silk screen and they will lay the tissue underneath and they will silk screen the image onto the tissue paper and then you can with, with underglaze. So instead of paint, you're using underglaze and then they would just keep on putting it onto the clay. And that way, every time you have the same image. Um, I do something much crazier because I don't do this a lot, so I don't need like large volume. But I um, actually, if you can see here, I write an image, I draw an image on um, plastic. And then what I do is I put the tissue paper over it and I trace with underglaze and then I put it on my clay and I just keep doing that because I don't do a lot of these so if I had to do like 60 there's no way I would have done that you know I would have definitely figured out how to silk, silk screen and you know learn that process and have done that instead um any questions you guys you let me know I know this was kind of short of discombobulated but um it's late and it's been a crazy day so um any questions just ask and I'll be happy to answer them thank you so much and have a great day take care bye, -bye.